I think I'm gonna sneeze. In a spot where I can't breathe through my nose, this is gonna be fun. Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to another video. Sorry I've not uploaded in the past two weeks. Past four, Sarah. In the past two weeks. I didn't have a chance to film the first week and then the second week we were in Brighton, so I couldn't film then. But I did upload a vlog on my vlogging channel, so I put a little i card up there and i'll also put the link in the description so you can check that out if you want to also i just wanted to do this disclaimer thing because i'm full of a cold so i apologize if i sound different that is why because i'm just full of a cold and yeah <laughs> i think it's because i've been to a gig in Brighton and also out in the fresh air in Brighton instead of being stuck inside like we've all been doing the past few years because obviously COVID. So I have a cold and it's actually a cold, it's nothing else. So that's good. And yeah, so for today's video, I thought I'd do a little story time video because this is just fitted to all the stuff that's going on right now. So basically, if you haven't heard, one of my favourite boy bands is reuniting and getting back together. So, drum roll please. The Wanted are getting back together and they are my childhood, I say childhood, like teenagehood band. Oh my god, I was obsessed with them. Honestly, I met them so many times and I went to so many gigs of theirs. It was unreal. But they're getting back together. I'm so happy. And they're doing a tour and I've got two tickets. I'm going to Manchester and Liverpool. So I'm so excited about that. If anybody watching is a The Wanted fan let, and they're going to tour, let me know which cities they're going to. And yeah, I'm super excited for that. So yeah, Liverpool's the last date, so that's why I had to go to Liverpool. And they're going with some of my friends that I met through The Wanted. So that's amazing. I'm finding it so hard to breathe through my nose. But yeah, so anyway, this story time is to do with The Wanted, so I thought it'd be fitting because they just announced their comeback, and yeah, so basically, if you haven't seen the title, which you probably have, I went laser quest with The Wanted, it was ages ago, oh my god, it was years ago now, and I just kind of wanted to kind of tell you how I got to go to laser quest with them and kind of what happened and stuff like that. So yeah, so let's get into it. So let's start from the beginning. So they used to do this thing called Wanted World and it was expensive. So I wasn't a part of that because yeah, because it was too expensive for me anyway. And basically they're doing a competition for people that were on the Wanted World and it was for whoever, like whoever won, basically got to go laser quest with them and they got to bring a plus one. And my friend Abby, you know who you are if you're watching this, won a couple of competition and invited me as her plus one, which I was really grateful for, so thanks Abby. And yeah, so she invited me to go Laser Quest with them. I've never played Laser Quest before, so this was going to be interesting. And I remember when we got there, we had to pick names, but I can't remember what name I picked. I probably picked something stupid like Sarah Cat or something like that. But anyway, or like crazy cats, something like that. I don't know. And then we, I remember, just remember being taken into this room. And that's when The Wanted came out and we got to chat to them. And basically, I already kind of knew Tom because I went to his girlfriend's stagecoach um, called K2K Stars. And yeah, so I was talking to him. And then I remember talking to Nathan. And Nathan found out I'd never played Laser Quest before and he was like, yeah, you're a target. Jay was hungover from the night before, so he was just in a corner talking to people. Max was talking to us. Siva, he was talking to us. And then we got took in to the Laser Quest bit. By the way, it was Laser Quest at the Trap Centre in Manchester as well, so that was cool. We got taken into the Laser Quest bit where you get all like your packs and then you get told the rules and they basically like shout the rules out, read them. And when they said shout the rules out, Jay literally took it to a T. He was screaming the rules at the woman that worked there. It's just so hard to film with a stuffy nose. Yeah, so anyways, <laughs> they were literally screaming at the woman the rules. And then our packs obviously lit up the colour of what teams we were in. 
and I just remember I was on Nathan's team and I remember running around in there and Nathan actually shot me a few times even though I was on his team. He said that I was just a target because I've never played Laser Quest before so I was like, cheers Nath, you're going to make our team lose. And then I also remember that my pack stopped working and I think Tom noticed that because Tom started chasing me and then chasing him was Nathan so we literally was like in a queue running and I just remember screaming with my my um, laser quest gun in the air because it wasn't working so I couldn't do anything I ran off screaming and then one of the workers had to come in and find me to change my pack because they could tell that it wasn't working it was literally ridiculous like it was so funny but yeah it was such a fun day and then we think we did two games of laser quest and then I'm sure Nathan and Tom, oh who was it? Someone did the rock climbing wall anyway, you know the one that moves. But it was just really weird because when we finished Laser Quest and we came out to check the scores, it was all like cornered off and I probably felt like a VIP because <laughs> there was like ropes around and then people were stood there like so that nobody could get to the wanted. People were stood there like fans and stuff that figured out where it was because like we weren't supposed to tell anybody but people did. And yeah, people were stood there. I just felt like so VIP. And then, <laughs> and then we saw our scores and then we went in for another game. I don't know, it was just such a fun time. And the boys are literally so down to earth as well. After we played two games of Laser Quest, we then went into another room and it had like pizza and everything in there. And I got dared to wear a spotty like a polka dot dress because at the time I don't know if he still is like I've tried asking but he's not seen my tweets but Siva kept telling everybody he was afraid of polka dots like I don't know how that's a thing but he was afraid of polka dots so I got dared to wear a polka dot dress just because he was scared of polka dots and I just remember going you look really nice and everything but the polka dots and I was like I know Siva I got to I got dared to wear it and he was just laughing and then Tom was saying how Kelsey talks about us, like, never says a bad word, stuff like that. And then Nathan, he was, like, sat at a table and, and with everybody else, with, like, a lot of people. Because he's, like, pop, the popular one, I would say. Well, at the time he was the most popular, I would say. And I, basically, I rang my friend to speak to the boys. And I don't know why I thought it was a good, a good idea, but I left Nathan with my phone talking to him. And then I turned around and everyone was laughing. And I was like, what are you laughing at? And Nathan was on my phone texting. And basically, he texted my mum a rude thing, which I'm not going to repeat because it's rude. And obviously, I don't want to put that on this channel. He tried tweeting off my account, but my had my internet turned off because I had one of those stupid... I think it was when we had the Blackberry phones. This is how long ago it was. And I didn't have unlimited data and stuff like that. So I had my data turned off. But I found the tweet in my drafts afterwards. And I really wish I had my data on now because he wouldn't have texted my mum. But yeah, anyway, so my mum texted about like, what are you texting me this for? And then I had to ring him, ring my mum and be like, it was Nathan. But when I rang, Nathan was like, blame Tom. And I was like, I'm not blaming Tom, it was you. I'm not seeing a mistake, mister. But anyway, <laughs> it was pretty funny, but yeah. And then he probably said that he'd follow me on Twitter because he annoyed my mum. So he did follow me on Twitter. So he did keep his promise. That's cool. And then Siva, oh, Siva was looking after me. I wasn't eating because I was too busy talking to everybody and he was like, Sarah, eat. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I was eating pizza. And then he told me I looked 12 and I think I was like 20 at the time. I'm not sure, but I look young anyway. Like I'm 28 now and I don't look it. But yeah, he was like, Sarah, you look 12. I was like, great, thanks. He even wrote in my um, autograph book. And then Nathan also wrote in my autograph book to Sarah, send my love to your mum love Nath and I was like yeah she's not gonna like you after what you did but yeah cool and then Max was just being Max like yeah Max is cool but Jay was just in the corner hungover so I didn't really properly get to speak to Jay but it was just such an amazing day out and honestly like they're just the most down-to-earth guys ever so genuine they don't act or anything like that but yeah it was just such an amazing time I'll insert some photos as obviously I'm talking but yeah I just thought I'd kind of like tell you about it because it's something that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life and I just wanted to share it especially since like the boys are back oh my god I can't believe they're back it's literally so unreal but yeah my nose is so stuffy guys but yeah I just thought I'd kind of share it because it was so cool and I absolutely loved that day it was like one of the best days ever 
but they're back and I'm so happy they're back and I can't wait for them to tour. It's just going to be absolutely amazing. If you were uh, watching this and you're one of the guys at Laser Quest, please let me know. Like, comment down and let me know that you were there. And also, like I said, if you're going to a wanted gig, let me know where you're going because it would be so cool. Like, I literally can't wait. Like, the wanted family are back together. This is just amazing. So, guys, that's it. That's my little story time about when I went to meet the wanted. That's just such lovely guys and I literally can't wait to go and see them live again it's going to be absolutely amazing and yeah so like I said if you were at laser quest with the wanted because there was a few of us there let me know in the comments below and also if you're going to a gig let me know which date and yeah so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up hit my subscribe button if you are new and I'll see you next week with another video thanks for watching guys bye